Asamina Triloba, Wikipedia article audio. Asamina Triloba, the papa, 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 or common papa, is a small deciduous tree native to the eastern United States and Canada, producing a large, yellowish green to brown fruit. It belongs to the genus Asamina in the same plant family as the custard apple, cherimoya, sweet sop, elong elong and sour sop. The pawpaw is a patch-forming understory tree found in well-drained, deep, fertile bottomland and hilly upland habitat, with large, simple leaves. Pawpaw fruits are the largest edible fruit indigenous to the United States. Names Description Pawpaw fruits have a sweet, custardish flavor somewhat similar to banana, mango, and cantaloupe, and are commonly eaten raw, but are also used to make ice cream and baked desserts. This plant's scientific name is Asamina triloba. The genus name Asamina is adapted from the Native American name Asimon or Rasamon through the French colonial Asiminier. The epithet triloba in the species' scientific name refers to the flower's three-lobed calices and doubly three-lobed corollas, the shape not unlike a tricorn hat. The common name of this species is variously spelled papa, 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 and papa. It probably derives from the Spanish papaya, an American tropical and subtropical fruit sometimes also called papa perhaps because of the superficial similarity of their fruits and the fact that both have very large leaves. The name Papa or Papa, first recorded in print in English in 1598, originally meant the giant herb Carica papaya or its fruit. According to Douglas Harper's online etymology dictionary, it began to be used from 1760 to designate the papa tree. Daniel F. Austin's Florida Ethnobotany states that The original papa is Carica papaya. By 1598, English-speaking people in the Caribbean were calling these plants papas or papas, the temperate Americas they found another tree with a similarly aromatic, sweet fruit. It reminded them of the papaya, which had already become papa, so that is what they called these different plants. By 1760 the names papa and papa were being applied to a triloba. Range and Ecology Yet Asamina triloba has had numerous local common names, many of which compare it to a banana rather than to papa slash papaya. These include, wild banana, prairie banana, Indiana banana, Hoosier banana, West Virginia banana, Kansas banana, Kentucky banana, Michigan banana, Missouri banana, the poor man's banana, Ozark banana, Banango, and Asimoya. Asimina triloba is a large shrub or small tree growing to a height of 35 feet with a trunk 8 to 12 inches or more in diameter. The large leaves of pawpaw trees are clustered symmetrically at the ends of the branches, giving a distinctive imbricated appearance to the tree's foliage. Conservation Status the leaves of the species are simple, alternate, and spirally arranged, entire, deciduous, obovate lanceolate, 10 to 12 inches long, 4 to 5 inches broad, and wedge-shaped at the base, with an acute apex and an entire margin, with the midrib and primary veins prominent. The petioles are short and stout, with a prominent adaxial groove. Stipules are lacking. The expanding leaves are conduplicate, green, covered with rusty tomentum beneath, and hairy above, when fully grown they are smooth, dark green above, and paler beneath. When bruised, 
the leaves have a disagreeable odor similar to a green bell pepper. In autumn the leaves are a rusty yellow, which makes spotting pawpaw groves possible from a long distance. Pawpaw flowers are perfect, about 1 to 2 inches across, rich red purple or maroon when mature, with 3 sepals and 6 petals. They are born singly on stout, hairy, axillary peduncles. The flowers are produced in early spring at the same time as or slightly before the new leaves appear, and have a faint fetid or yeasty smell. The fruit of the pawpaw is a large, yellowish green to brown berry, 2 6 in long and 1 3 in broad, weighing from 0.718 ounce, containing several brown slash black seeds 1 half to 1 in in diameter embedded in the soft, edible fruit pulp. The conspicuous fruits begin developing after the plants flower, they are initially green, maturing by September or October to yellow or brown. When mature, the heavy fruits bend the weak branches down. History Other Characteristics Cultivation Asimina triloba, the pawpaw, is native to the eastern, southern and midwestern United States and adjacent Ontario, Canada, from New York west to southeastern Nebraska, and south to northern Florida and eastern Texas. Propagation The tree commonly grows in floodplains and shady, rich bottomlands, where it often forms a dense, clonally spreading undergrowth in the forest, often appearing as a patch or thicket of individual small slender trees. Pawpaws are not the first to colonize a disturbed site, but may become dominant and slow the establishment of oaks and hickories. Although shade tolerant, pawpaws do not persist in undisturbed old growth forest. Pawpaws spread locally primarily by root suckers, sexual reproduction by seed does also occur, but at a fairly low rate. Pawpaw flowers are insect pollinated, but fruit production is sometimes limited as few if any pollinators are attracted to the flowers faint or sometimes non-existent scent. The flowers produce an odor similar to that of rotting meat to attract blowflies or carrion beetles for cross-pollination. Other insects that are attracted to pawpaw flowers include scavenging fruit flies, carrion flies, and beetles. Because of irregular fruit production, some believe pawpaw plants are self-incompatible requiring cross-pollination between trees of different clones. Habitat Restoration The fruits of the pawpaw are eaten by a variety of mammals, including raccoons, gray foxes, possums, squirrels, and black bears. The disagreeable smelling leaves, twigs, and bark of pawpaws contain natural insecticides known as acetogenins. Pawpaw leaves and twigs are seldom consumed by rabbits, deer, or goats, or by many insects. However, mules have been seen eating pawpaw leaves in Maryland. Larvae of the zebra swallowtail, a butterfly, feed exclusively on young leaves of Asimina triloba and various other pawpaw species, but never occur in great numbers on the plants. Chemicals in the pawpaw leaves confer protection from predation throughout the butterfly's life, as trace amounts of acetogenins remain present, making them unpalatable to birds and other predators. On a global scale, the common pawpaw has a nature serve global conservation rank of G5. In the United States, the species has a nature serve national conservation rank of N5 but is considered a threatened species in New York, and an endangered species in New Jersey. Uses In Canada, where the species is found only in portions of southern Ontario, it has a Nature Serve National Conservation Rank of N3, and a Nature Serve Subnational Conservation Rank of S3 in Ontario.
The Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources has given the species a general status of sensitive, and its populations there are monitored. Fruits In areas in which deer populations are dense, pawpaws appear to be becoming more abundant locally, since the deer avoid them but consume seedlings of most other woody plants. Calyx, sepals 3, valvate in bud, ovate, acuminate, pale green, downy, corolla, petals 6, in two rows, imbricate in the bud. Inner row acute, erect, nectariferous. Outer row broadly ovate, reflexed at maturity. Petals at first are green, then brown, and finally become dull purple or maroon and conspicuously veiny, stamens, indefinite, densely packed on the globular receptacle. Filaments short, anthers extrors, two celled, opening longitudinally, pistils, several on the summit of the receptacle, projecting from the mass of stamens. Ovary one-celled, stigma sessile, ovules many, branchlets, light brown, tinged with red, marked by shallow grooves, winter buds, small, of two kinds, the leaf buds pointed and closely appressed to the twigs, and the flower buds round, brown and fuzzy, bark, light gray, sometimes blotched with lighter gray spots, sometimes covered with small excrescences, divided by shallow fissures. Inner bark tough, fibrous. The bark with a very disagreeable odor when bruised, wood, pale, greenish-yellow, sapwood lighter, light, soft, coarse-grained and spongy. SPGR 0.3969, weight of CU foot 24.74 pounds. A candidate for the natural distribution of the common pawpaw in North America, prior to the Ice Ages and lasting until roughly 10,000 years ago, were extant but now extinct megafauna. Such animals became extinct during the Quaternary Extinction event and with the arrival of humans and subsequent extinction of such megafauna for distributing Asimina triloba, the probable distribution of these large fruit-bearing plants was by humans. The earliest documented mention of pawpaws is in the 1541 report of the Spanish de Soto expedition, who found Native Americans cultivating it east of the Mississippi River. The Lewis and Clark expedition consumed pawpaws during their travels. Chilled pawpaw fruit was a favorite dessert of George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson planted it at Monticello, his home in Virginia. In cultivation, lack of successful pollination is the most common cause of poor fruiting. Cross-pollination of at least two different genetic varieties of the plant is recommended and growers often resort to hand pollination or to use of pollinator attractants such as spraying fish emulsion or hanging chicken necks or other meat near the open flowers to attract pollinators. While pawpaws are larval hosts for the zebra swallowtail butterfly, these caterpillars are usually present only at low density, and not detrimental to the foliage of the trees. Nutrition Phytochemicals Effect on insects Historical uses Pawpaws have never been cultivated for their fruits on the scale of apples or peaches, primarily because pawpaw fruits ripen to the point of fermentation soon after they are picked, and only frozen fruit will store or ship well. Other methods of preservation include dehydration, production of jams or jellies, and pressure canning. In recent years, cultivation of pawpaws for fruit production has attracted renewed interest, particularly among organic growers, as a native fruit with few to no pests, successfully grown without pesticides.
The commercial cultivation and harvesting of pawpaws is strong in southeastern Ohio and also being explored in Kentucky and Maryland, as well as various areas outside the species' native range, including California, the Pacific Northwest, and Massachusetts. The pawpaw is also gaining in popularity among landscapers and backyard gardeners because of the tree's distinctive growth habit the appeal of its fresh fruit, and its relatively low maintenance needs once established. However, only container-grown pawpaws should be transplanted, use of bare-rooted pawpaws is not recommended, since their fragile root hairs tend to break off unless a cluster of moist soil is retained on the root mass. First Pawpaw Leaf Forming on Stem Above Ground Trees are easily grown from seed. Germination is hypogeal and cotyledons remain within the seed coat. Strictly speaking, hypogeal means the cotyledons stay in the soil, acting as a food store for the seedling until the plumule emerges from the soil on the epicotyl or true stem. However, pawpaw seeds have occasionally been observed to emerge from the ground and form the true stem and plumule above ground. Desirable kinds of pawpaw are propagated by chip budding or whip grafting. Seeds will lose viability if they dehydrate to 5% moisture. The seeds need to be stratified, achieved by storage for 9 weeks at 5 degrees C losing their viability if stored for three years or more. Some seeds survive if stored for two years. In one study, propagation using cuttings was not successful. Cultural Significance Pawpaws are sometimes included in ecological restoration plantings since this tree grows well in wet soil and has a strong tendency to form well-rooted colonial thickets. The pawpaw is particularly valued for establishing fast-growing vegetation in areas where frequent flooding might produce erosion, since their root systems help hold stream banks steady. As described by horticulturist Barbara Damrosh, the fruit of the pawpaw looks a bit like mango, but with pale yellow, custardy, spoonable flesh and black, easy-to-remove seeds. Wild collected pawpaw fruits, ripe in late August to mid-September, have long been a favorite treat throughout the tree's extensive native range in eastern North America, and on occasion are sold locally at farmers' markets. Pawpaw fruits have a sweet, custardish flavor somewhat similar to banana, mango, and cantaloupe, varying significantly by source or cultivar, with more protein than most fruits. 19th century American agronomist E. Louis Sturtevant described pawpaws as a natural custard, too luscious for the relish of most people. Old Song Place Names Art Ohio botanist William B. Werthner noted that the fruit has a tangy wildwood flavor peculiarly its own. It is sweet, yet rather cloying to the taste and a wee bit puckery only a boy can eat more than one at a time. Fresh fruits of the pawpaw are commonly eaten raw, either chilled or at room temperature. However, they can be kept only 2-3 days at room temperature, or about a week if refrigerated. The easily bruised pawpaw fruits do not ship well unless frozen. Where pawpaws grow, the fruit pulp is also often used locally in baked dessert recipes, with pawpaw often substituted with volumetric equivalency in many banana-based recipes. Pawpaws may also be blended into ice cream or included in pancakes. Due to its potential for allergic reaction causing contact dermatitis and possible presence of pesticides, pawpaw consumption may be harmful to humans. According to a report from the Kentucky State University Pawpaw Program, 
Raw pawpaw in a 100 gram amount provides 80 calories and is a rich source of vitamin C, magnesium, iron, and manganese. The fruit also contains a moderate amount of vitamin A. Other Phytochemical extracts of the leaves and fruit contain acetogenins, including the neurotoxin, ananasin. The seeds and bark contain the chemical asimitrin and other acetogenins, including asimin, asiminasin and asimincin. Due to the presence of acetogenins, the leaves, twigs, and bark of pawpaw trees can be used to make an organic insecticide. The one notable exception is the zebra swallowtail butterfly, whose larvae feed on the leaves of various species of asimina conferring protection from predation throughout the butterfly's life, as trace amounts of acetogenins remain present, making them unpalatable to birds and other predators. The tough, fibrous inner bark of the pawpaw was used by Native Americans and settlers in the Midwest for making ropes, fishing nets, mats, and for stringing fish. Pawpaw logs have been used for split rail fences in Arkansas. The hard, brown, shiny lima bean sized seeds were sometimes carried as pocket pieces in Ohio. A traditional American folk song portrays wild harvesting of pawpaws. Artie Schranz of the Georgia Department of Agriculture gives these lyrics Where, oh, where is dear little Nellie? Where? Oh where is dear little Nellie, where, oh where is dear little Nellie, way down yonder in the pawpaw patch, pickin' up pawpaws, put an M in your pocket, pickin' up pawpaws, put an M in your pocket, pickin' up pawpaws, put an M in your pocket. He notes that picking up pawpaws refers to gathering the ripe, fallen fruit from beneath the trees and that the pocket in the song is that of an apron or similar tie-on pocket, not a modern pants or blue jeans pocket, into which pawpaws would hardly fit. A pawpaw patch refers to the plant's characteristic patch-forming clonal growth habit. The pawpaw is the basis for various place and school names in the United States, almost all using the older spelling variant pawpaw. 19th century naturalist and painter John James Audubon included pawpaw foliage and fruits in the background of his illustration of the yellow billed cuckoo in his classic work, The Birds of America. Pawpaw fruits and a pawpaw leaf are featured in the painting Still Life with Pawpaws by Edward Edmondson, Jr., at the Dayton Art Institute in Dayton, Ohio.